Good morning. Today is Monday, November 23rd, and I am a couple of days past due on giving you all an update on my self-love detox, which I started on November 1st, and I am feeling better. I've started losing weight. Um, I kind of fell off. I did good the first week. I did my green smoothies, you know, just doing fruits, fruits, veggies, um, a little bit of cooked food, but fruits, veggies, nuts for the protein, no meat at all. I could only make it one week without the coffee because I really am a coffee drinker. The caffeine addiction is the hardest um, addiction to break um, as long as, uh, as well as sugar. And so um, I did really well the first week, um, but the, the second two weeks, um, I did pretty good. I mean, I still haven't really had any meat. I had a little bit of fish, uh, but I've been remaining consistent and I'm starting to, my pants are starting to feel a little bit looser. And so that's just giving me the the confidence I need to keep going. Um, the drinking, the, the no liquor was a little difficult. Um, I did cut back, but then when I kind of started feeling a little stressed, I had a few more drinks than normal. And now we're getting ready for the holiday. So that, you know what that means, friends, family, and wine. Um, and so I know that you all have some goals that you've been working on. I've seen some posts out there on Facebook um, about your, your diets and your exercise and wanting to stick with that uh, even during the holidays. And so I am encouraging that. Like I said, I'm going to be, you know, continuing to watch what my intake um and so that that's it i just wanted to hop on and and check in with you guys keep you motivated um but there's something that's kind of been on my mind today and it's about um disappointments you know sometimes you can really really be working so hard to achieve whatever your goal is whatever your dream is and sometimes it just feels like you don't have the support that you need but let me just tell you that even if you have one or two people who are just there for you whether physically or emotionally really that's all you need you need yourself you need really your relationship with god um i know that's one of the things that i've kind of been going through um over the past week just kind of feeling a little disappointed about some things and i I think it took me about a week to process and so that's why i haven't really been on so you know me i'm gonna keep it real and remain authentic with you all but today i feel renewed i feel rejoiced you know this is um thanksgiving week and the more gratitude that we can have for the little blessings in our life the more that the the blessings will continue to flow and whatever those blessings are you know just the blessing of being being able to have family my grandmother is 90 years old and i i feel blessed to be able to still have her in my life you know she's alert she's still feisty and witty that's a blessing to me you know um for her to be able to see my second book release you know there's other things that i wanted to accomplish and for her to be able to see me accomplish uh you know in the future and so i don't know how much longer i'm gonna have her but i i want to be able to just spend as much time with her as i can but but once again in regards to disappointments like even if you fell off on your your diet your detox it's okay you have to just stay encouraged um and sometimes you do need to take a break like i was off of facebook kind of you know, for about a week or so. And I actually felt, felt re-energized because sometimes I think it can burn our energy out just being on there all the time. I don't know about you, but it, it burns me out sometimes. And, but, but I feel like I missed out on some things. And so I'm, I'm back in full force and I just wanted to say, Hey, and happy Thanksgiving. Be grateful. Just be grateful and don't give up on your dreams. And if, and if some, you know, people aren't supporting you, if you know that God has placed it in you, you have to just keep going. You have to dust yourself off and try again. So that's all I have for you all today. I love you. Happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you all have a good time. Be safe. You know, it's still a lot of crazy things going on. You know, every day we're hearing about just, you know, people losing their lives. And so be safe. Hug, hug and kiss your kids. Hug and kiss your parents, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. But wait, here's another thing that came to me you know everybody is not gonna like you <laughs> every your book is not for everybody your music is not for everybody your business your service is not for everybody and that's okay find out who who your business your target audience is and i know that's that's like rule number one when it comes to business music books being an author and so those are just some of the challenges that we have to work through that's all I have. I know that was a lot. That was like five different topics, but I love you guys. Keep up the good work with the working out and the eating right and being healthy. 
because I'm that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Take care. See ya.